What's going on, drivers? What's going on, drivers? Welcome to another episode of the Ripping and Running Show. I am your host, my truckers keeper, aka the neighborhood trucker. Now, if it's your first time, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe to join the journey. Hit the bell so you can get notified every time I drop a goddamn video so you don't get left behind, all right? Now, today we are in somewhere in Florida, all right? I'm just doing a, a, a quick uh, stop for some coffee and some fruit. I'm at the Loves right here off of 10 and uh, 231, matter of fact, exit 130. And uh, we got a load of pallets right here that I picked up yesterday in Hammond, Louisiana. That's got to be delivered this morning to Albany, Georgia. I picked this load up at Shell. It's actually my first time hauling pallets like this. You had to have a lot of straps. So thank God I, I had some, some to spell. But anyway, we just gonna go ahead and vlog today. You know what I'm saying? We back on the, on the uh, attempt to be consistent once again on YouTube. So we just gonna vlog today. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know what the day is gonna bring. But what I need y'all to do is sit back, buckle up, keep your ears and your eyes peeled, close your goddamn mouth, and you might just learn something. I don't know if y'all can hear me or not, but since I'm pulled over and I, you know, I'm out the truck, just gonna walk around the truck and uh, let me zoom out. We're gonna test these straps. Uh, I like to test my straps on the side where, where, where there's no tension, because on this side right here, where the uh, ratchet is, where the reel is, or whatever you wanna call it, it's gonna always have a lot of tension on that side because that's where the tension is. But I always check the side, make sure it's not too flappy on here. You dig what I'm saying? So I check out all my straps. Just a quick check, man. And I ain't gonna lie. If you watched my last video, man, since that happened to me last Friday, today is Monday, by the way. I'm sorry, Tuesday, by the way. I have been uh, on top of my pre-trips, on top of making sure I check everything out because I can't afford that nice little Pete right now. Need to get some load. Get a load on your back though, player. Mercer, y'all got y'all drivers down here, goddamn. Dead heading early as hell in the morning. I hope you're on the way to pick up some money. But anyway, um, yeah. I've been I've been very uh, adamant about checking out things that I just used to look past. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, every now and then I tell you all the time you get a wake up call out here. You gotta make sure you're taking care of your business, man, because as much as we do this shit day in, day out, and nothing happens, it doesn't take away from the fact that this is an extremely dangerous job. So what we're gonna do is hop in this goddamn truck and haul ass. We got about two and a half hours till we get the all in it. Yeah, I can't wait no time. I beat the grind some days a week. Yeah, I ain't got time to sleep. I get rest on time this week. I've been going through every motion, but it ain't that plain to see. If you ever see me, y'all just know I got that thing with me. Had to get up off that couch, that shit was just so lame to me. Selling out pop house, I had to rearrange some peace. Can't go out bad behind no bitch, dog, that shit so lame to me. Oh, they mad I got on piss, dog, they just some angry bees. Oh, they mad I got on piss, dog. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gents, ladies and gents. So we made it up here to uh, Go Ape Logistics in Albany, Georgia. That's the name of this place is Go Ape Logistics. Now from the side, uh, it either got to be a younger person or it got to be a black person, you know. Go Ape, y'all know the saying, like, well, I'm about to go crazy, I'm about to go ape. I just thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, just got here, got unstrapped. Uh, my appointment was um, actually at 2 o'clock this afternoon, but um, I made it in here right before 9 o'clock, and uh, he was about to turn me around, but I told him straight up, I said, hey, man, I'm out of time anyway. I can run up here to the Loves. It's literally less than a mile down the street. Run up here to the Loves and uh, come back at 2 if you want me to. I don't mind taking a good old nap, but he uh, went ahead and took me anyway. So, like I said, I'm unstrapped. Got all my straps off. And, uh, all right, dude got a mean face. But anyway, got all everything unstrapped. We ready to get uh, unloaded, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a little muddy out here, a little water puddles. I got my, my boots on with some sweatpants. 
But that's just how we rocking today. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, short vlog, short vlog. I need y'all to get in the comment section if you have any questions. Videos are coming that will probably answer your questions. But if you just so happen to have any questions, make sure you hit me up in the comment section. Make sure you drop a like or a dislike. I just need y'all engaging on the video. And, uh, you know, likes and dislikes and comments uh, help me, you know, kind of guide where my content goes, what I post, what I don't post. If I even want to do this shit anymore, you dig what I'm saying? I know I've lacked consistency over the months. And uh, that's all on me, man. I can't put that on nobody else but me. But here we go. I've got another artificial boost of confidence, I guess. It ain't really confidence. It's really just motivated to turn the camera on and talk. But uh, I'm sweating, ready to get in here, wipe my face off. And uh, like I said, I got to take a 10. So it is what it is. I'm going to chill, probably work on some uh, a little sit down video for you guys or whatever. Because I know y'all want to know what's going on with Ugly Money. Because as you can see, we're still in the company truck. And I'm still a company guy. But with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all rolling with me. Make sure y'all share this with somebody, man. It may be useful. You know, hopefully y'all learn something. Hopefully you entertain. But with that being said, uh, make sure y'all put a plan together to get out that truck one day because we ain't going to be able to do this shit forever. And I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to do this shit forever. So if you fail to plan, you plan to fail, all right? Stack that bread, man. And make sure you holler at your boy when you see me coming down.